price of lithium today is 18 times more expensive than what it was two years ago. Now the Chinese government believe that this is the work of illegal price gouging, and they're vowing to crack down on anyone that they can prove is doing something untowards. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. New subscribers. We've done more than two and a half thousand videos over the past just over 18 months now since this channel started. All about electric vehicles, battery technology, sustainable energy, and the minerals and supply chain that go into batteries. And this is critical. This will affect economies, countries, and companies in so many ways. China pretty much controls the world's lithium supply. Do they mine it at all? Absolutely not. Do they refine it all? Pretty close. Do they make most of the world's batteries? They do. For example, China's biggest battery company, CATL, just one of many companies, supplies batteries to one third of the world's EVs. In other words, one in every three electric cars manufactured have batteries from CATL in them. So you can imagine China isn't happy. They are very concerned that uh, this is gonna cause problems for their EV battery manufacturers and also for their more than 100 electric car manufacturers. China's ministry and market regulators say they're gonna crack down on this. They believe these behaviors include price gouging and other, well, nefarious activities in the lithium battery supply chain as rising raw material battery prices hit a record high of 600,000 RMB just this week. Now, this includes lithium carbonate. And lithium carbonate is the refined product that battery manufacturers use to put in their electric vehicle batteries. Now, CNF Post says that market regulators across China have to step up supervision and strictly supervise hoarding, price gouging, and unfair competition in the upstream and downstream battery industry to maintain market order, according to a government document today. The government, they think this is a major problem. And, you know, if you do the wrong thing in China, they just stick you in jail. That's how it works over there. For those of you who are new to the channel, you haven't heard my story. When I was in China, I wrote on my blog a, an experience that I had at a zoo there where I thought the animals were being mistreated, which they were. It was ridiculous. And the Chinese government literally took down my website. Hackers from the Golden Army, I'm sure you've heard of that, literally removed my website. So no one in the world could see my website. And then I contacted Wix. At the time, I was using Wix to build the website. This is many years ago. And Wix were like, we don't know what happened, but um, we've managed to fix it. It's back up. It's live now. But that was by the time I'd left China. So Chinese market regulators are stepping in to supervise and strictly investigate hoarding, price gouging, and unfair competition in the upstream and downstream lithium battery industry to maintain market order, according to a government department. China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology said the reason they're doing this is to make the industry stable. Now, of course, you must be aware of the fact that China plans to take over the majority of vehicle manufacturing worldwide. It's the biggest industry in the world. It employs the most people. Japan's economy completely depends upon it. Germany's economy as well. China says, you know what? We make everything else. Why don't we make every car in the world? We should. Why not? That's what they plan on doing. Maybe not every car, but the majority. The thing is, they're well on the way to actually achieving that. If you think about it, right now, 70% of all electric cars are manufactured in China. 70% of all EVs sold everywhere in the world. Are the prices of lithium extreme right now? They are. They're crazy. The price of battery grade lithium carbonate in China reached 600,000 yen last week. That is 85,380 US dollars for one ton. And that's 14 times the average price in 2020, which was $41,000 per ton. And it's an increase of 55% from the price last year. But part of the reason the prices have been spiking is because there's rumors companies will cut production as lithium carbonate prices continue to go up. They will hold some back from the market and therefore artificially inflate the price. Of course, the producers are denying that they're doing this. 
But this is what the oil industry does. This unfortunately is a tactic that's used by many industries. If lithium carbonate prices stay this high, it will have a big impact on many vehicle companies' margins. Neo, founder William Lee, says electric vehicles will become more expensive or at least margins will evaporate. Now, of course, Neo doesn't make a profit on their EVs now, period, at all. So it's even worse for much of the industry. If you think about it this way, the only company that could potentially survive these kinds of drastic lithium prices are Tesla. Now, people will say, I'm bullish on Tesla. That's why I'm saying that. Okay, well, explain to me this. If every legacy automaker in the world admits they don't make any profit selling EVs, in fact, many of them make a big loss, then clearly they have no margin to play with. There's only one company in the world making a big margin on EVs. There's one company making a small margin, BYD, one company making a big margin, Tesla. So obviously, if the price of lithium does increase, adds a significant cost to an electric car, Tesla obviously can take that hit. Can the other ones, can the other car manufacturers produce millions of EVs as they're saying they will at affordable prices with lithium costing this much? Well, yes, they can, but it will be very difficult. How difficult will it be? Well, every 14,000 US dollar increase in the price of lithium has a two percentage point impact on NEO's gross margins. No one really knows the extra cost that's involved here because every single battery, every battery company actually puts more or less lithium in the batteries. It depends what chemistry you use. For example, it is true lithium ion phosphate batteries use more lithium than some other battery chemistries. However, keep in mind, there could be a solution to this. Many battery companies are looking at reducing the quantity of lithium in their battery packs. And they can do this by using things like more manganese. More manganese, you can put less lithium in the battery. Remember, a battery pack doesn't just have lithium. Lithium makes up about one third of every battery. Now, William Lee, the CEO of NEO, he doesn't believe the cost of lithium is because purely of supply issues. Supply and demand, he doesn't think that's the reason. He's claiming the reason purely is speculation. We don't know if that's true or false, but we do know one thing. This will put added challenges to electric car manufacturers claiming that they'll make millions of EVs in the future. They'll have to find a way to work around this. Now, there is a lot of speculation about Tesla's LMPO batteries. There's a lot of speculation about M3P batteries. And if whether or not those battery packs that Tesla will be using we will be able to use less lithium. Now, Jeff Dahn from Tesla, well, formerly employed directly by Tesla, but now indirectly, was working on a battery pack for Tesla, which had more manganese in it, called the LMPO battery, which enables the battery to have about 50% less lithium. Nobody truly knows what's happening with that battery pack, but it's batteries like that that could absolutely change the scenario for companies that can pull off these kinds of things. Now, there is one other way we can look at this, right? We're always comparing now against the worst possible scenario. That's what the media are doing right now. However, the price of battery grade lithium in 2018 was about 150,000 RMB in China, meaning it was only about 50% less than the average price paid in 2022. So it hasn't actually changed as much as the media are telling us. The other thing to keep in mind is, if this was affecting battery companies so badly, why is it that the world's biggest battery company, CATL, and the fifth biggest battery company in the world, Goshan High Tech, have been able to make massive margins that they've, we have never, ever seen before? Those two companies have reported profits in excess of 400% compared to previous quarters, meaning maybe... The cost of lithium doesn't actually affect the battery costs as much as we like to think. Now, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. How do you think this will affect the future electric car market? Thank you for watching, my friends, and have a great day. Bye-bye.